Hi guys, Mike here. In this video I'm going to show you how to create your own custom console commands that can be used for debugging and testing purposes during development. We are going to do this by using a special U function modifier called exec. So let's get started. So in case you don't know what console commands are, let's have a look at how to use them, how to get to them. So I'm using the runner project from the runner series. And what you usually can do in Unreal is hit the tilde key. It's the top left key beside the number one key. And this opens up the command bar or command input. And then for example, you can type in stat, have different stats that you can view and other things. So this is really powerful. And for example, like stat FPS, if you hit it, you can see we have the FPS calculation here. And let's close this by typing the same thing again. So what you can do is write your own commands that you can really call functions during runtime for testing purposes. So using custom commands is really good during development to allow testers or developers to enable, disable certain mechanics, change certain things in the game like parameters or situations so that you can really help test and debug certain things in, in the game. And this is also where it comes to the downside of using custom commands is that it does not work in shipped versions. So you need to have a development build to be able to use them or use uh, inside the editor. For example, if you go to file, package your project and have to build configuration on shipping, shipping strips out all custom commands or all commands at all that you can't use in build shipping. So if you're thinking about, okay, I want to do this as a cheat console that you can do, there are other ways that you need to do, like create your own stuff for this purpose. So to really make this clear, this is a debugging tool, not something like a cheat manager or something for your game. So that's what I just want to stress out. So let's have a look at what we could do as an example. Let's hit play, for example, and you can see I paused the game. We have our coin count and our lives. So let's say we are creating a custom command that we can run or execute during the game and adding like 20 coins or something. So let's stop and go to our code. Before we start, there's one thing I need to mention as well. This cannot be added to any class. There are only a couple few classes that you can add console commands to. These are, for example, game mode, cheat manager, player controller, the hot class, I think a pawn, and maybe the player input. So usually what we are going to do here is use the game mode base. Let's head over for a sec. So we, you need to override your game mode with your specific game mode, what we did in the runner example. So we are having our runner, endless runner game mode base. And in here, I want to add now a custom console command. A custom console command is nothing more than a U function with a certain modifier. So let's define a U function. And then the modifier is called exec. And let's give it a category of type let's say commands, for example, and call it void at coins. You can use a function without parameters or add parameters. These will be added basically with spaces. So if we would, let's say, be in our console, we would type in add coins. And if we, let's say, we want to add a certain number of coins, let's say num coins as a parameter, then we would call in our command. So to make it sh clear, let, let's say our command console add coins and then 20, for example. So the parameters, you would add the space and then add the parameter, the value for that parameter. So we defined our U function as, let me make it a little bit bigger. So U function exec is the most important thing here to work. So we need the, the exec modifier. Let's implement our function. It gets a bit bigger. And 
I have a function over here for adding a coin so that when a coin is collected, the trigger is hit and the add coin function is called. We could do something similar and add this and just add the num coins and do the same thing, broadcast it so that in this case the UI is updated with the total coin count. So this is actually it. You just need to define a U function. You can have a function without parameters, with parameters, and then you implement it. It needs to have the exec modifier. Let's compile this and check this out inside the editor. So in the editor, let's hit play and hit the pause button, for example. Now we're at tilde, you can see the command console is opening here. And then I can type in add coins. Now you can see that add coins is available as an option to choose from with the parameter specified num coins. So if you don't see this, then you probably need to restart the editor. Sometimes those changes in header files they don't apply immediately. You need to restart the editor and then it should work. So let's hit add coins, hit 20 or type in 20, hit enter and you can see automatically we have 20 coins collected. We can continue the game and play and so on. So collected some more, 23. So this is where you can really use custom commands for your own debug testing purposes to test out certain levels to certain situations and so on. So to stress it again, this is a debug tool, but not like something that you can implement and use in a shipped game. The commands are stripped out of shipped games. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I try to explain everything to the best of my ability, but if I didn't or things were unclear, feel free to ask and I will gladly answer any questions you might have. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please leave a like and sub if you did. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.